Good morning, everybody. It is Saturday morning. I am about to get up. I try to do a little bit of cleaning or whatnot. So I'll see y'all in a few. Get ready to go to my friend's house. Just the one a t-shirt, some black leggings. I'm gonna have on some flip-flops, and I got my favorite little custom bag from Nap what was it? Nap to reality. I got another bag too. It's like a it's a crossbody, but it's not a backpack. But I love this. It could fit a whole lot of in it. But um, yeah, I'm about to get up out of here. It is too nice. It's eight degrees here in Detroit City. Do you hear me? I'm going to have to go eat some good food, so I'll catch y'all. I'll try to record a little bit on my phone, so I'll see you guys later. Thank you guys for tuning in to another video from your girl Sinja Lately. This is a continuation from the other day or whatever. Um, today is the holiday, Memorial Day, um, Monday. And I have been cleaning and washing clothes all day long. So I did not go anywhere. I did not cook. I ate from my what I got from my friend house yesterday. So, um, yeah, my hair looking a little crazy. It is with this. Yep, I got on the same shirt I had on yesterday. Don't judge me. Um, but I just had to take a little break to do my facial again with my ingredient or my product. And today I'm only going to use the aloe vera powder with a little bit of honey and lemon juice. So I'm going to put this on my face. It's a little bit browner this time with just the aloe vera, which is okay. It's going to look like I got shit on my face, but that's okay. And while I'm doing this, I want to get into this Monique and Dio Healy mess, y'all. Because really, what is going on? What is going on? Everybody is on either side. A lot of people are behind DL. A lot of people are behind Monique. Me, personally, hold on now. So, me, personally, I feel like It was some bullshit behind closed doors, for sure. Now, whether DL has something to do with it or not, I personally would have waited to handle that after the fact. But at the same time, you can't let nobody just walk over you and you not say nothing. So, I'm kind of in between the situation. So, if you guys who are watching who don't even know what's going on, D.L. Hughley and Moni, two comedians, been in the business for over 25, 30 plus years, okay? They were doing a comedy show here in Detroit, Michigan at the Fox Theater. And Monique, before she actually started her set, she took the time out to voice her frustration, her upset, and her anger out on DL because somehow the position of headliner 
was switched or he didn't want to go after her if she was the headliner or some shit like that. And she said her contract is headliner, 100% headliner. So she went on for probably about a good 10 minutes. And although people were there to watch her comedy in that moment, she was still being a comedian. Like, it was still funny to so a lot of people that was there. And even when I was watching, I was like, oh, my God, she is going in on him. And then I found a lot of stuff that she said funny. Even though it was a serious matter, I found that shit to be funny. You know? Yeah, everybody wants to go and pay to see a comedy show. But as a comedian, you can make anything serious or not into something comedic. So, I really didn't have a problem with it i would rather her do that than for her to say i'm walking off i'm not doing the show when nine times out of ten a lot of people really came to see Tony. so i mean was it distasteful for a lot of people yes hold on y'all okay so was it distasteful for a lot of people yes but we all know that, yes, Monique has had a history of people labeling her difficult, hard to work with, talk too much, whatever the case may be. But one thing about Monique, she has never wavered on what has happened to her in the industry. And um, her story has been the same. Since the Lee Daniels, Tyler Perry, Oprah Winfrey, since the Precious movie days, I would say that, because that's when it really all started. When she was, when she didn't want to promote the movie for them, when it wasn't even in her contract for her to do so, they labeled her as difficult. But she was not wrong in saying no to that. So, they labeled her difficult. And in that sense, she got blackballed in a way. And uh, she has been fighting for the respect for a long, long time. And people are going to always label you difficult, crazy when you're standing in your truth. Now, whether we believe her or not, that's her truth. And she has every right to voice it how she see fit, even though a lot of wealth may have said it's a better way to do things. And it is. It is a better way to do things. But sometimes when people are passionate about what they're saying, in that moment, they're not thinking about a better way to handle this. They're thinking about getting that shit off their chest. So this situation, that's what she was doing. In that moment, she wanted to get it off her chest. And she wanted the, the, the fans and stuff to know how sometimes behind closed doors, shit can get shady. And... um. Let me put more down here because that's where they have all them bumps and all that type of stuff right here. But some, a lot of times, black women, well, women and then black women in general, get the hardest time in the industry. Okay? And women have to fight extra hard to be heard. You know, because a lot of men to this day still feel like women should be seen and not heard. Because they know once we get hurt, once we are hurt, we are forced to re be reckoned with. And men can't handle that. But I will say she should have really left that until after the show, if 
she never had an issue with him. If he been to your house or if y'all been on, you know what I'm saying, friend dates and hung out or whatever the case may be, if y'all did all that in the past, clearly y'all have some type of bond, right? So just on the strength of that bond, that should have been handled behind closed doors. And most importantly, and I'm going to say this, this is why I say I'm on the fence. On, I'm, I'm in the middle with both. You should have took it to your promoter. That should have been the first person you went to when you was told or, you know, you seen something that said that you were in the headline. You should have went to your promoter. And even if the show started late, you could you should have went to your promoter to see what was up before you got on stage. So... I don't know, y'all. Like, at what point do we say, fuck playing, fuck, fuck doing things the political way, and just say, you know what, this is a, enough is enough. You're not going to keep running over me. You're not going to keep running over us. We have a right to speak our mind, no matter how it comes out, to cater to other people's feelings. Like, At some point, we have to be able to be frustrated and let the frustration come out how it comes out. And yes, she has been not been on the stage in a while. And 50 Cent is the one who really says something, I guess, put some things into place in order for her to uh, be able to be out here again. So... I know a lot of people was looking at 50 like, <laughs> this is what you investing in. This is what you, um, this is what you promoting. And people are like, you know, you just got your foot back on the door and you, you, you're getting back into people's good graces. And here you are doing this all over again. And you're going off on people who really ain't did nothing to you and all this and all that. So, it's just a lot of um, back and forth. I know that they have been going back and forth on Instagram. The L posted his little receipts and then she posted her receipts. And it's like, okay. Now, from my understanding, a, a deal memo... It's not an official contract. Regardless if it says contract, agreement, memo, or whatever, it should be signed. That deal memo DL had was not signed because it wasn't meant to be signed. Where is your original contract DL? Now, from what Monique said, her promoters told her you didn't even have a signed agreement. So, if you didn't have a signed agreement, was you getting a lot of perks and shit up under the table that she that she wasn't privy to? Like, even though she probably ain't supposed to be privy to it, but if you don't have a signed agreement, was you getting stuff up under the table? Because you've been in the game too long not to have no signed agreement. Okay? Yes, a deal memo is... It's the draft to the contract that's supposed to have everything in place. Like, okay, this is what this is going to be. This is what you're going to get. Da -da 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 -da. And then once the, the talent or the comedian or the entertainer, whoever it is, says, okay, I agree to this terms, then that contract comes into play and then you sign off on it. So Monique had her contract. Now, what I don't know is, well, I didn't see... Monique, I didn't see Monique pull out her deal memo. I don't know. But it's just a whole lot of whole lot, y'all. Um, I'm gonna be right back. I gotta do something real quick. And I'm gonna let this stay on my face and get a little hard or whatever. And then um I'm gonna come back and talk about this a little bit more. Stick to it. Okay. 
Okay, you guys, I am back. I am about to hop in the shower real quick. It is almost 10 o'clock at night. I'm going to take my mask off while I'm in the shower. So it'll be a one-stop ordeal, okay? Kill two birds with one stone type of situation. And then, um, like, I can feel it tightening up on my face. That's because of the honey in the lemon so i had this on for probably about 10 minutes about 10 minutes so i'm gonna wait probably another five six minutes i have flies in my apartment already gotta get some traps i'm leave this on for about another five or six minutes and then have a shower and then i'm gonna come back and then we are going to continue this conversation about monique and dj hugo okay you guys i am back i am feeling refreshed and relaxed and everything about to pour me a glass of wine too before i actually get to bed and call it a night but yeah i want to finish this little Monique DL situation. Now let's talk about what she said about when she went to the radio station because DL Hughley has a radio station, whatever. It's very, very popular. I have, however, maybe only seen snippets of it uh, on YouTube, but I've never, ew, I've never really actually sat and watched a full session. So I don't know exactly what his content and stuff is but she said she went to his radio show and they asked her to play a game she said yeah she liked to play games so they it was um would you rather the old famous would you rather so the lady named jasmine whoever she was proceeded to ask monique would you rather your husband sleep with lee daniels without a condom or Corinne Stephens with a condom. First of all, that was disrespectful. Second of all, they only asked that question because of the rumors of her and her husband being in an open marriage or whatever the case may be. I'm sure that is the only reason why they would even concoct some type of situation like that a question like that to even ask her i think that was just distasteful and if this is the type of crap that they ask on this show then thank god i don't watch it because dl you you be all into politics and all this type of stuff so what does her husband have to do like, I don't understand. Like, that was just so disrespectful. I think they wanted to get a reaction out of her. And um, I don't know what her reaction was at that moment. I might have to look for that clip on YouTube and see. But I'm pretty sure she was not pleased at what the fuck DL and that lady asked her. I just think that was just rude as fuck. Like, it's, it's kind of like y'all making fun of her. You're making fun of her marriage and I don't know that that right there was just distasteful and so with that being said I can kind of understand why she had to have that moment and go off on him like that because I ain't gonna lie deal may may speak his mind or whatever the case may be but i find dl to be kind of sneaky i i <laughs> i feel like dl do a lot of under the table type shit i don't know but that right there was just like okay that's 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 not cool that's not cool at all to even have her to even choose that with a man that's gay, Lee Daniels, with a female who was known as Superhead in the industry. Like, how did y'all come up with that? What made y'all... DL, 
kind of deserved to get chewed out a little bit. Just because of that. He deserved to get chewed out a little bit. Because there is no way in hell. No way in hell that there was no motive to you asking that woman that type of question on would you rather. Especially when it came to her husband. Like, nah. Nah. Mm -mm. I don't buy that. So, um, let's see. Yeah, Monique was cussing up a storm. Oh, it was bitch, this bitch, that nigga, this nigga, that motherfucker. I, you pretty much put your feet up under my table. You pretty much was at my home, at my table. Like, we were cool. I didn't think that you would do me like that or whatever the case may be. So, uh, I think she went on first still. I think. Yeah, she went on first. And then he came out, when he came out, he started talking about that a little bit. And he was saying something about you can't take a joke or something like that. And it's like, okay, was them switching that up like that a joke? Like, I'm, I'm, I was confused when I seen that little clip of him telling him he... He wanted to smack her like we'll smack rock or some shit like that. And it's like, hold on, not yet. Hold on, not. <laughs> now, one time when she went on her rant, did she threaten you physically to do somebody harm to you? Now, here it is. You coming on time about you want to smack a woman because she she's saying what she's saying about you? You lost cool points for that. Because she didn't have to go that route to get her point across. Yes, she may have ranted and people probably wasn't there for it. But what she did not do is threaten you about what she should do or could do to you physically. Not cool. However, I found the whole shit entertaining. I'm sorry. The shit is fucking entertaining because it's all about a fucking... Who's the fucking headline? Listen, me, I don't think I would have got that upset. I think that if it was an issue of being a headliner, I think the best solution would have been, well, let's go out there together and feed off of each other's energy and make material off each other like that, like, both of y'all are big in your own right. Monique got fucking awards. She I get she did her fucking thing. So why not both of y'all share the stage? At the same time. Since you saying you was supposed to be the headliner, he saying he's supposed to be the headliner. Okay. If can't nobody agree to be the headliner, then both of y'all be the headliner. Both of y'all get out on stage and both of y'all do what needs to be done. And y'all could have just left it at that. So, I don't know. This whole situation is just the mess. A complete mess. And I forgot what I was going to say. Oh. That's not, I forgot what I was going to say, y'all. It was like literally right there. I don't know. <laughs> oh, I was going to say. It is so hard, and I probably already said this already, but I'm going to say it again. It is so hard in the industry for a woman, let alone a black woman, to stick up for herself in that industry. Women got to work 10 times as hard just to prove that they can fit in and all that stuff. Now, I don't think women should do everything that a man does. Don't. No, I don't think that. But if I'm in a profession and we both have the same title as a comedian or engineer or whatever the case may be, absolutely. You treat me the same way you would treat this man. We are on the same level. We have the great content. If mine is, might, might be even better. And I ain't gonna lie, y'all. I don't find the L funny at all. Even when it, when he's talking political crap. I I don't find him funny, but I do listen to him talk. 
politics and stuff like that. Like, I think that's his arena more so than comedy. I'm just saying. Because I, too, was one of the ones that literally just fast forward motherfucking tape on King's comedy when his part came out. It's probably like one or two parts in his whole skit that I found fucking funny. But for the most part, I fast forward his part too. Just like majority of America. So, I mean, yeah, he may have been more relevant recently because of her situation and being blackballed or whatever the case may be. But she was so easy to work with when she was quiet. See, when the industry wants to keep you quiet, everything is all good, pieces of cream. They don't want you to, to speak up for yourself. They don't want you to stand up for what's right, to have integrity. As long as she kept her mouth shut and got paid what they paid her, she was easy to work with. She was easy to work with. And I feel like that mentality in the industry needs to go away. It needs to go away. Because if you constantly let the industry take you for granted and give you what the fuck they want to give you, when will you ever learn to fight for what you're worth? And that's all she been doing is fighting for what she's worth and fighting for what was right. You already had Lee Daniels and Tyler Perry say she was not in the wrong for what had happened at that moment. So why the fuck did y'all band together to blackball her though? If years later you decided that you want to apologize and say she didn't do nothing wrong, which she actually did not do nothing wrong because her contract did not state that she should promote Precious. And she took a pay cut doing that because Lee Daniels was a good friend of hers. So in a sense, she did him a favor. And guess what? Any, everything that he did since then, I haven't heard about it. I haven't heard of it being a, um, up for an award or anything. So I think it kind of hurt him just as well as it hurt hurt it her. So to come back and you just say you apologize to her while she's on stage doing her thing. Let's people know that she was telling the truth all along. Now, the one person that ain't gonna apologize is Oprah. Now, if she if, if she did apologize to her, y'all put down in the comments the link or whatever the case may be. But as of what I know, she has not apologized. And it's like that with females. It's like that with females. And it's like, if you was in the wrong, Oprah, then just say you was in the wrong and move on. And then you was already in the wrong when you brought her family onto your show back then. And she didn't approve of it or she was blindsided by it because you wanted to be messy. Yeah. But anywho, I hope that this situation with them two, this is the end. Because both of them presented receipts. I still don't think D.L. Hughley receipts is good enough. That D.L. memo, mm, show the actual contract. Show it. Show the actual John Hancock on there. Show that. And then your date, I don't know. The date didn't look right to me, so I don't know. But I hope this is the end of this fiasco but i doubt that it is because with them two they like to talk now they like to talk and they like to speak their mind so you got two strong head individuals so we're gonna see which one gonna apologize first and when the real truth is gonna come out the promoters fucked up or the promoters didn't fuck up they knew exactly what they were doing because they knew that confrontation Brings more views and light to the situation. Who knows? You know you got some janky promoters out there. Who will play both sides of the motherfucker field. To make each party feel like they are the shit. They're the number one. And just playing games. So you got to be real careful about. 
who you sign with when you're doing events and stuff like that. Because some of these promoters out here just ain't about shit for the most part. But um, I am going to get off here. Oh, as you can see, I took my mask off. This is what my face is looking like. And then I, um, then I, um, put some moisturizer on my face. So, I'm going to keep doing my face mask because I want to actually see how my face turns out. Um, I definitely need to do a turmeric, turmeric mask for these bumps and all that type of stuff. But that's for another video. Um, so, I'm going to end this video right here. I'm about to enjoy the rest of my wine and the rest of my night. I'm going to cut my candles on, turn my music back on, just lay in my bed and just chill until I fall asleep because I had a busy, busy, busy day today. Um, I hope everybody enjoyed their holiday today and did exactly what you wanted to do. So, until then, thank you guys for tuning in. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And um, I'll catch you guys in my next video. Bye.